Groundhog's Dilemma by Kristen Remenar, illustrated by Matt Faulkner. I see my shadow, Groundhog declared. Half the animals cheered, the other half groaned. Six more weeks of winter. Back to sleep. Stuck in the nest for six more weeks, I'll go nuts. An early spring would have been nice. Groundhog's shoulders slumped. I just call it like I see it, he mumbled, heading back into his den for a good long nap. Spring finally arrived, and everyone came out to look for food. We could have had fresh berries six weeks ago if someone hadn't seen a shadow. I like wearing my white fur a bit longer this year. Thank you, Groundhoggy. I only report what I saw. Still, I appreciate it. Have some berries. This exchange did not go unnoticed. The next morning, Squirrel stopped by for a visit. Groundhog, my pal, want to sit with me at the ball game today? I'll share my peanuts, he said. Really? Gee, thanks, replied Groundhog. Anything for a friend. Maybe next February you can return the favor by making spring come early, Squirrel suggested. Well, um, I don't actually control the weather. I just report it. Think it over. That afternoon, Bear clapped a paw on Groundhog's shoulder. How would you like to play catch after the game, Bear offered? I don't know. Usually you get mad because I keep dropping the ball, Groundhog said. Well, today I'm in a good mood, and if I get six extra weeks of sleep next winter, I'll be in a good enough mood to teach you how to throw, Bear replied. Really? All I do is... Just before the game began, Sparrow called out encouragingly to Groundhog. I'm sure we can find a position for the guy who can make spring come early. Groundhog opened his mouth to protest but he looked longingly at the team warming up. Want to play? Me? An early spring sounds good to me, Sparrow. That evening, Hare stopped by. Groundhoggy, do you like seeing me in my pretty white coat, don't you? Mm, uh, don't you want a long winter next year so I can wear it for six extra weeks? Oh, yes. So, you'll see your shadow on February 2nd. Um, uh. Over the next several months, Groundhog's social calendar was full of ball games, picnics, and bonfires. On the first frost-covered morning in late fall, a crowd gathered at Groundhog's door. Don't forget early spring. I like my winter sleep. You know, I love my winter white, Groundhoggy. And early spring means more time for baseball. As he settled in for winter, Groundhog felt restless. One snowy night, he left his den looking for help. Owl, said Groundhog, I need some advice. Squirrel and Sparrow want an early spring, but Hare and Bear want a longer winter. I've said yes to everyone because I want them to like me. I don't control the weather. I just predict it. Ah, to see or not to see your shadow, that's the question, said Al. You got yourself into this, Groundhog. You'll have to get yourself out. But I'd appreciate it if you could make spring come early. Winter's tough on my old bones. Groundhog slunk back to his den. He spent several restless weeks mulling over his options before sinking into an uneasy sleep. February 2nd dawned, chilly and bleak. Groundhog looked up at the partly clouded sky. He looked around at the expectant faces. He looked down at the ground, unsure of what he saw. Do you see your shadow or not? Groundhoggy? Then the sun broke free of the clouds and shone brightly. Groundhog knew that no matter what he said, spring would come when it wanted to, and either way someone would be angry. 
All he could do was tell the truth. So Groundhog took a deep breath and puffed up his chest. I see my shadow, he announced. Half of the animals cheered and the other half groaned. Six more weeks of winter. Hey, I thought we were friends. Drat! Yes! Yay! We are friends. You're all my friends, so I... Groundhog sighed. I promised you what you wanted, so you would stay friends with me. Groundhog hung his head. I'm sorry, everyone. I shouldn't have pretended that I can control the weather. I just call it like I see it. That's all. It's not because of your job that we're your friends. Well, not only because of it. Groundhog looked up at them, grumpy and hungry from months of cold. I know it doesn't make what I did right, but maybe you'd like to join me for hot chocolate and snacks, he asked. Six weeks will go by faster with a full stomach. With some grumbling and squeezing, everyone joined Groundhog. They ate, talked, and laughed until they were stuffed and sleepy again. Back to the den. Sparrow, Groundhog said, I know you're angry, but I'd like to play baseball with you in the spring. Sparrow smiled. We could use a good umpire. Groundhog grinned. I call it like I see it. Six weeks later, play ball! The end.